the troublesome trucks. Thomas the tank engine knows how to handle trucks, but the first time he had to pull them wasn't easy. Soon after he had started working on the Fat Controller's railway, Thomas became tired of pulling coaches. I want to try something different. He would puff noisily to the engines in the shed every night. The other engines didn't take much notice. They knew Thomas was young and had a lot to learn. One night, Edward was next to Thomas in the shed. Edward was a kind old engine and felt sorry for Thomas. I've got some trucks to pull tomorrow, he told Thomas. If you want, you can take them and I'll pull your coaches instead. Oh, thank you, Edward, peeped Thomas happily. And all the engines got a good night's sleep at last. The next morning, the drivers agreed to the switch. Thomas puffed off to find Edward's trucks. He didn't know that trucks were silly, noisy things. They loved to play tricks on engines that didn't know how troublesome they were. Edward knew all about the trucks. He warned Thomas to be careful, but Thomas was too excited to listen. Thomas waited impatiently while he was coupled up to the trucks. When the guard blew his whistle, Thomas quickly peeped in reply and began to puff away. But the trucks didn't want to go. Oh! Oh, they screeched, wait. Thomas wouldn't wait. Come on, come on, he replied, giving them a hard little bump. Ouch, cried the trucks, as Thomas pulled them onto the main line. Thomas was happy to be doing something different. Come along, come along, he sang as he went. All right, all right, the trucks grumbled. They clattered through stations and rumbled over bridges. The trucks didn't like being bumped and looked for a chance to cause trouble for Thomas. Thomas soon came to the top of Gordon's Hill. Steady now, warned his driver as he shut off steam and put on the brakes. We are stopping, called Thomas. No, no, said the trucks naughtily. Go on, go on. And then they all bumped forwards and pushed Thomas down the hill before his driver could stop them. Thomas raced down the steep hill much too quickly. The trucks rattled and laughed behind him. Stop pushing, Thomas panted, but the trucks would not stop. Huff, huff, ho, you're too slow. We'll give you a push to help you go, they sang rudely. Thomas could see the station at the bottom of the hill, but he was going too fast to stop. (gasps) Cinders and ashes, he cried. He whooshed straight past the station platform. The people waiting there were quite surprised to see a little blue engine going so fast with a train of laughing trucks. I must stop, Thomas said, and his driver applied the brakes even harder. The buffers were getting closer and closer. Thomas closed his eyes tight shut, but there was no crash. Thomas opened one eye carefully. He had stopped just in front of the buffers. But next to the track was the fat controller, looking very cross. Why did you come in so fast, Thomas? The fat controller boomed. I didn't mean to, Thomas explained meekly. The trucks pushed me down the hill. You've got a lot to learn about trucks, little Thomas, the fat controller told him. You must find a way to make them behave. Then you'll be a really useful engine. Yes, sir, Thomas promised. The next day, Edward showed Thomas how to pull the trucks properly and keep them in line when they played their naughty tricks. Thomas even stopped bumping them, except when they misbehaved. And from then on, Thomas never complained about his coaches again. They were much easier to pull than those troublesome trucks.